Hi everybody, this is Reggie with two G's. Oh guys, Reggie here. You know what the most annoying thing in the world is? Is that somebody uh, riding your ass as a motorcyclist. I, I don't really like it. I'm sure he's probably far enough away, but I do not like that at all. We're going to check out an area that I actually have been wanting to go on since I moved out here. It's called Sugarloaf Mountain. Okay. I still haven't gotten used to the. Oh man. But Sugarloaf Mountain is a very interesting area. Um, we're not there yet, but so it's Claremont. But this is like hilly area. It, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a pretty steep incline here. It's just crazy. Oh, don't tell me we're going to get rain. Oh, come out here and we're going to get rain. That's the last thing I need. The crazy thing about this bike was someone removed the underseat storage, so I have no place to put any of my storage stuff. I have to put my registration in here, which sucks. Yeah, see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is a steep, steep hill. And the very first time I ever came riding out this way, I was riding my shadow, and um, I was actually having a problem in which the, uh, the pet cop had a that's tearing it for the vacuum seal, so it was cutting the fuel off. And I think I made it to the top of this first hill, and the bike just, just stalled up. And I sat there for about a good 20 minutes, not knowing what to do, and when the bike started up, I said, that's this, and I turned around and went home. Oh, I used to work all the way out here. Uh, luckily later, I figured out what the hell was wrong with it. Today I wanted to, you know, I did just mention riding stuff, but I actually wanted to talk about riding in groups. I want to know what your guys' opinion was on riding in groups. You know, since I got this bike now, um, I don't really ride in groups too much. I tend to ride by myself a lot, and um, there's a lot of things that goes into riding in groups that people don't, don't think about. But when you ride with a group of guys, you got to think about... Um, you know, the lead guy is the one towing everyone around. He's got to watch his speed. He's got to think about others. I'm so glad they changed this intersection up here. Before, this used to be like a 12-way stop. Now they put a roundabout in here. Everyone com else complains about it, but I like it. It makes it easier to navigate. See, if I go straight, that's Sugarloaf Mountain. But there's actually a road that I really, really want to go on which is this road right here. I don't know if anyone knows about it. But this road is sweet right here. This is a sweet piece of road right here. This reminds me of North Carolina. to come on this road the second I moved to this side of town I was like this is the road that I want to come on so we'll hit this road and then I think I will do Sugarloaf Mountain next time for you guys the only thing that sucks this road is feeling it's 55 if you get this road in a car going 60 it's a ton of fun if you have any excuse to go out this way and this way leads to Mineola I take it in a heartbeat Especially if I'm driving my own personal car. It just sucks when there's somebody who won't. That whole leaning off your seat. 
anything really, really does make a difference when you're riding. I did not even know. Like, you just lean off your seat and it does, I don't know if it's, I don't know math. I don't know science. So whatever magic that goes into it, you lean off the seat and, um, and it's like, because the weight's over more on one side, it just, you just go in that direction. We're gonna hit Sugarloaf definitely after this. This sucks, man. This road is freaking awesome if you can get it when there's nobody on it. Or somebody getting on it. You can get it when somebody's doing 60 on it. It's a nice piece of road to go down. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about riding in groups. Yeah, when you ride in groups, the problem with riding in groups is you get like forced into being in categories. I gotta... with people when you're riding groups so if you're riding in a group like I was watching Viper 6's vlog the other day and he had just gotten an FJ09 he was riding with a bunch of sport guys and crazy he lives in Canada this cop literally pulled in front of the road and like blocked off both lanes to where he had to go around him and slam on his brakes he, he couldn't stop in time and um and hold on a second Ooh. Some bumps on here that are anyway, that's how much this is angled. And um because he caught the first guy speeding and and you know now he doesn't know if he's gonna fight the ticket or not and I'm like what the heck but that's what happens when you ride in a group you get lumped in with the group you know I think that's part of my reluctance to ride with groups is I don't want to get lumped in with them I don't want you know somebody thinking that I'm part of the group or I'm part of the problem and then um, you know charging me or, or saying I was speeding the other thing is you gotta learn to ride your own ride. So if guys are, are speeding off off ahead and you can't keep up, it's better just to slow down. Or if that voice in the back of your head is going, this is too fast, you need to slow down. You know what you need to do? You need to slow down. That's what that voice is there for. It's there to tell you to slow down and listen to it. Just because it looks like everyone else is having a good time does not mean you have to speed to have a good time as well. It's boring from this point forward. Let's, uh, let's turn around and go back the way we came. The cup, so we're gonna go. Hold on, tunnel. Oh man, it's like it's so loud. So I think that's all I gotta say about it. You know. If you're riding in a group, you gotta, you gotta think, and, and I think there's like a pack mentality that takes over with us when we ride in groups, you know, if everyone's speeding and having a good time, I think it just takes over in your mind, so, if you are riding in a group and you don't feel comfortable leading, definitely ride in the back and ride your own pace, you'll catch up to them eventually, you know, if they're speeding and acting a fool, you better separate yourself from them, otherwise you'll get in trouble just as, just as much as they will, you know, it's trouble by association. Alright guys, well I'm gonna get off of here. Hopefully this audio turns out pretty good. If you uh if you like this video and my random tangent running, please leave a comment below. If you take the time to leave a comment, as one down always says, I will take the time to reply. Um hit that like button if you like this video. If you just found this channel and you aren't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel for more content, new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I try to do a hangout every Saturday. So that's the, that's the gist of it.
got a lot to learn about riding sport bikes. Um, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Adios!